So um, when I'm at trials, uh, obviously you're sitting around um, watching what other people are doing during their warm up um, and when they're getting ready to go to the, uh, get into the ring. So very, very often uh, I can already predict before the person even goes into the ring whether or not um, their run is going to go well. Why is that? Um, because we have to make sure that we are crystal clear with our dogs, right? So that they understand when we're working and when we're not working. So for example, um, if someone takes their dog out of the crate and warms them up and then is kind of watching the ring, um, they're disconnecting from their dog, right? They're watching what's going on or they're talking to someone, the dog's looking up at them. And then after a while, the dog's like, well, okay, I guess I can just look around, right? And then the dog's looking around, so now they're completely disconnected. Um, and then I've seen handlers look back at their dog and say like to the dog, hey, pay attention, you weren't paying attention. The dog's like, oh, okay. Um, but really that was the handler's fault. And then what it's teaching the dog is that sometimes it's okay to look away and sometimes it's okay to pay attention. I've also seen handlers where um, they're kind of warming their dog up and then they see someone they know and they curl. They let the dog go visit that person. Zayna, curl, curl. They let the dog go visit that person and then they call the dog back. Well, it's again, confusing for the dog. Sometimes I can work and then in the middle of working go visit someone. Um, so then how do they know that in the ring if they see a judge or a steward, it's not okay to go visit them, right? So I think it's incredibly important to teach your dog from the minute they come out of the crate exactly what their job is and what to do, um, whether it's um, going out to potty, walking around the show site to get them acclimated, or going in the ring. Um, so that begins in training. So it, when I train my dogs, we have a routine, and it's exactly the same um, as to what I do when I'm at a trial. So from crate to great webinar pretty much covers in detail different ways that you can communicate to your dog exactly what to do so that they know they're working right the entire time and they learn it in training and so then when they go to a trial they know exactly what to do and then you move smoothly into the ring and you set yourself up for success.